let's see what happens here with Junquera, how easily he will be able to dispose of Gonzalez. Coming up on three laps to go. Well, at least Gonzalez is being an equal opportunity pain in the neck. <laughs> Lap 78 is complete. Tracy leads it. He has given the lead up only on pit stops. And now here comes. We saw that uh, Jutkara was able to get around Gonzalez. But time is running out. Yep, and the gap went back up to 3.3 because of uh, Bruno's difficulty getting around Gonzalez. And he still has uh, Philippe to get around. Philippe is in between Tracy and Junquera. Actually, that's Sebastian Bourdais, Bourdais yeah, yeah, who's challenging. Himself back up into the picture big time. Yep, right behind Junquera. Bruno will dispose of Philippe. Now let's look at the push to pass. You see Junquera and Bordet both have 20 seconds left. Sebastian Bordet started outside the front row, outside of Junquera in the all Newman Haas front row, and they're currently running second and third, and becoming involved in a very close battle for that spot. Meanwhile, Paul Tracy is now down to less than two laps. Bourdais is on the box. Cut his from 20 seconds to 11. I don't like that name for the pass. We might not have to solicit uh, input from the fans on coming out with a better name for that. <laughs> yeah. The juice. The juice button. The sauce. The, the boost button or something. ChampCarWorldSeries.com. I'm sure we'll be anxious to hear your opinions on what it should be called. Meanwhile, Tracy is just about to head for the white flag. And wow, Tracy laid it down big time. I think he used up some of his push to pass. That last lap, a 1-10-1, which if I'm not mistaken, is the fastest, the fastest. of the yep. race. Yep. the white flag one lap to go he comes down to complete the next to last lap and the interval is 5.1 seconds Tracy the champion last year of the champ car series is off to a very good start in 2004 it would appear for those of you who Missed the early stages of the race. Jimmy Vassar, always a competitor and always a threat to win, was eliminated on the first lap, first turn in a three-car accident that also eliminated Alex Perifico and Tarso Marquis. And again, except for the times where he has come in for a pit stop, relinquished the lead during those times. Tracy has led the entire distance after starting in third position and pulling a really impressive move at the start of the race to duck inside of Junquera to take the lead. And here comes Tracy off the hairpin. And Paul Tracy wins the 30th anniversary Toyota Grand Prix of Long Beach. Junquera second and Sebastian Bourdais finishes in third spot. This is Tracy's fourth win at, at Long Beach, and here come Carpaccio and Dominguez for fourth and fifth. And Justin Wilson comes home in sixth position. It's Tracy's 27th career win. Two years in a row, he's won the first race of the season. Back in a moment. The checkered flag has been waved for Paul Tracy, and now he's winning it. He's the victor at the Toyota Grand Prix of Long Beach. Here's Derek. And the crew are just begin to arrive to congratulate their driver, Paul. That was a dominant day with a very scary move in that first corner. 
Yeah, the car was just been perfect all weekend. You know, we, we didn't get a chance to show it in the last lap of qualifying. We just didn't get it right, but we had a great car all weekend. And I'm just looking at that picture right there, I look a little bit different than uh, in years. That was Paul Tracy, 1993, but Paul, it still feels just as good to be in Victory Circle. It feels great to start the year off uh, on the right foot. And I really just want to thank uh, all the fans that are out here and all the Champ Car supporters. I want to thank Jerry Forsyth, Kevin Kalkovan, and Paul Genelosi, Bridgestone. I want to thank Ford for supporting the series, and most importantly, Spike TV for, for having us, and, and uh, we're going to do great things. And, of course, your mom, who gave us a heart attack when she told us you were short of fuel, but she's part of your celebration, I know. Thank you, Paul Tracy. Well done. Dominant day. Calvin? Down here with Bruno Junquero. Bruno, did Paul surprise you with that move in Turn 1? No, because I knew that he was going to try something like that. Uh, he passed from the start, and that's it. Unfortunately, the way that the rules are is you had to go on the safe strategy to beat earlier. Seems like you guys were concerned if there was a yellow that you could really get behind the eight ball. So you were pitting as soon as you could rather than waiting, correct? Exactly. I would pit as soon as I could and then save fuel for the rest of the stint. And I think the Pacific Air car was faster than Tracy's car today. As I catch him twice, but, you know, I mean, these rules, there is no race. A lot of people here today in Long Beach was really nice, but unfortunately, they didn't see what they expect. It's a fight between me and Trace. Okay, well, the one thing that we've been told this weekend by the Champ Car guys is if they need to change something, they're going to do it real quick. I'm sure they'll get a lot of feedback on this today. Well, there were five changes among three drivers. Paul Tracy led 77 laps here this afternoon. Here is the unofficial finish. There were two cautions for a total of six laps. And with his fourth win at Long Beach, Paul Tracy breaks the tie between himself and Mario Andretti and moves for a to second place on the all-time win list here at this racetrack. Dominguez finishes in fifth spot, and Justin Wilson is the highest-placing rookie and did a very, very fine job. As we look down toward the rest of the uh, finishers here today, Paul Tracy is about to take a lap around the racetrack and allow the fans to salute him and his great performance here today. Getting a kiss there from his new fiance, Patricia. <laughs> Last year we saw him, uh, he was winking. Everybody thought he had uh, some sort of a seizure going on. And when he first started dating Patty, he was giving her signals back home. But now uh, they've just recently got engaged. Good way to kick off uh, the new season for Paul. There's his mother, Vivian, who you wonder where he gets his uh, his sharp tongue. If you, hear, <laughs> you look no further than Vivian. Well, the that's called the podium truck. And on the podium today are Tracy Junquera and Bourdais. Again, uh, it was a very safe race. No uh, I injuries. But the, the thing that really caused us some concern at the very beginning of the race was that uh, pile up in turn one as you predicted before the start <laughs> well i mean it's just kind of a function of you have that many guys that keyed up going that fast and the accordion effect you throw cold tires into the equation and uh that's what happens more often than not once again paul tracy wins here at the toyota grand prix of long beach jincara bordet carpentier finishes in fourth position and mario dominguez brings home a fifth place spot for Team Herdez. Justin Wilson, Hunter Ray, Tagliani, Haberfeld, and Levine rounded out the top 10. And so we do have a Trans Am race coming up, and we wish Tommy Kendall good luck in it. That does it for our coverage of the Champ Car World Series. Join us again May 23rd at 4 o'clock for coverage of the Takati Telmex Monterey Grand Prix from, Monte, uh, from Monterey. Mexico. Very much appreciate your joining us here this afternoon for our coverage for Tommy Kendall, Derek Daly, Calvin Fish, and Bronte Tagliani. I'm Bob Jenkins. So long from Long Beach, California, and the 30th Toyota Grand Prix of Long Beach, won by Paul Tracy.